and Security Minister reports human sacrifices and satanic altars. Jamaica's Security Minister Robert Montague is facing scrutiny this week after making a series of bizarre and mysterious claims in front of his nation's parliament. Montague was giving a briefing concerning the state of security in Jamaica when he claimed that demonic forces are behind recent increases in the nation's murder rate. A state of emergency was recently declared in Jamaica in response to the crime spree, and law enforcement have been busy rounding up over 200 suspects in the last week. In Montague's statement given before Parliament concerning the crime spree, the security minister claimed that Jamaican security forces have been discovering satanic or otherwise occult-related altars throughout the country which indicate black magic could be at work. According to Montague, some of the altars seem to suggest human sacrifice might be behind some of the murders. Some people are playing with things they know nothing about and open gates they cannot close. The trend is disturbing and must be stopped. This is a most dangerous trend and the clergy is also disturbed by it. Sir, the savagery, the brutality and horrific nature of some crimes point the sacrifices to these evil forces. Montague also offended some critics by claiming his uncle was a Nobia man, giving him credibility to speak on issues of demonic forces. Obia is a folk tradition similar to Haitian voodoo or Santeria brought to Jamaica by West Africans of Igbo origin. Montague was forced to issue an apology for that remark, stating he did not mean to offend any members of parliament and to give the assurance and publicly state I am not into devil or evil worship in no way, shape or form. While it was once a widespread belief system, today Obia has become mostly folklore, having been subsumed by Christianity brought by European settlers on the island. For their part, other government and law enforcement officials in Jamaica blame the recent crime spree on gang violence. Many gangs are known to defile victims similar to in reported cases of human sacrifice or black magic. What's really going on in Jamaica?